Right, Elton Yankees is known as one of South Africa's leading fly-offs, but not too many have heard his views on the state of rugby in the country. In the final part of his chat with ENCA's Shahid Joseph, Yankees was asked about the potential of youngsters like Mani Libok, Damien Willemser and Gianni Lombard. Obviously we've seen what they can do at uh, S under 20 level. I think they played final, I'm not sure. Um, I think all of them played in the same back line, different positions, which just shows uh, the, what they're capable of and shows uh, their skill set. And Damien's been exposed to Super Rugby and international level already. You can see Damien is playing at fullback now as well, so you can see that the talent he's got. Um, and then uh, Mane got an opportunity two years ago, it was last year against us. Um, obviously playing against uh, under, under Andre, but the biggest thing is not to get in a negative mindset because that's easy to get into. I think my advice to him is just to every, obviously feed off of, of Andre and feed off the senior players that you surround yourself with um, because obviously you're still young. Um, as a young player you always want to want to think about what can I do, what's my, I'm the one or I, 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 it's always I, it's just about yourself but for me it's just uh, something that I can leave them with is to obviously look at the team, look at where I can improve as an individual and then obviously look at the, how I run the show, look at how can I implement um, my centers looking better or my game management or how does this, the coach sees the picture, the game plan and sharing things with the coach, getting to the coach's mindset because as soon as you understand the coach's philosophy, it's going to be way easier for you as a fly-off. So if they can do that at a young age, I think that will definitely benefit them and hopefully we can keep them in South Africa and obviously they can become Springboks one day. Transformation is often spoken about when it comes to rugby. Do you think enough black and coloured players are being given a chance and also um, do you do you think that you're being judged the same as your white counterparts? I don't like to, to talk about uh, race, racial things um, because uh, I believe if, if I train more, I'm speaking about myself, my work ethic and my discipline and, and, and taking responsibilities and stuff, if I can do that um, and making sure that I perform at my standards of what I expect for myself, obviously I'll still be in the team or they have to consider me as an individual um, but I don't get in, involved in, in racial things or what the media say or the public say about racial stuff. Um, obviously people's got their own opinions um, but there's nothing for me to comment on um, as long as you as an individual perform whether you're black, white or coloured. You, if you perform if you're in good form because Rashi will definitely pick you and I'm not sure the count of how many black or colored players he, he exposed in his first year. I mean, he got the transformation at, I'm not sure if it's 50% or 60%, I'm not sure what the, the, the percentages are in that in that circumstances, but because the race of definitely, he picks people on form and he gives people opportunities like we've seen in the first year. And again, back to transformation, but this time regarding coaches. Um, not many seem to be given opportunities at Curry Cup level or at Super Rugby level. What do you think is hindering black and coloured coaches from coming through and coaching at that level? I know I don't know much about uh, coaches in terms of colour. Um, yeah, like I only know because um, Dion Davis that was a coach at the, the King Super Rugby franchise, and then obviously other. Other coaches like Coach Joey is our super rugby coach, defensive coach. Um, Coach Paul True was at the Stormers. Our country has been coached by three, is it two or three? Two. Two black um, or colored coaches. So I don't think that's a dilemma. I think, well, I will give an opportunity as soon as I retire or whether I'm a coach or something. I can't given opportunity on coaches because that's not my place and I never want to be in a position where I can judge a coach or whatever because that's not my job, I'm a player still and I still look at rugby at the moment in terms of playing so I can't comment on coaching and stuff like that.